The left can get people to go along with a lot of their issues, but it just seems to me that pretending that men are women is a step too far. And the numbers bear that out. The uh, Media Matters, you know our friends over at Media Matters, they're our private PR firm. <laughs> they, they just clip out parts of our shows all the time and post them all over the internet. We say, thank you so much. Thank you for the advertising. Media Matters put out a piece yesterday. They were very upset. The right is dominating Facebook engagement on content about trans issues. They actually name Daily Wire. Daily Wire is right there at the top. Right-leaning sources earned more than 65% of interactions on top trans-related content. Media Matters study of interactions on published online content about trans topics shared on Facebook found that right-leaning sources earned higher engagement. We looked at 225 pieces of high-performing content on trans topics, which earned a combined total of 66 million interactions on Facebook. And the content and related topics from right-leaning sources can constitute 65.7% of those interactions. Comparatively, 15.4% of interactions were earned by queer sources, whatever that is, 3.9% from left-leaning sources, 10.4% from non-aligned, and 4.6% from other sources. And the Daily Wire apparently performs right at the top there on, uh, on a lot of that content. The study goes on and on. I recommend you go read it. Media Matters doesn't get it. They think they think that the reason that right-wing content, right-wing content on transgender issues performs better on social media is because we're gaming the system somehow. We're cheating. We're, we're doing something nefarious. Do you know why right-leaning content on trans issues does better? It's because men are not women. And everybody knows that. And right-leaning on this particular issue just means stating what is perfectly obvious, that men are not women. It's amazing. You know, I did this whole speaking tour last year called the Men Are Not Women Tour. It was a joke. It was a joke because that's the most obvious thing you could say. You'd say the sky is blue. You could say two plus two equals four. But today, on the left, in the leftist culture, it's considered controversial to say that men are not women. Do you know why the, the right-wing content does so well? is because you can't fool people forever on some of the most basic facts of their lives. The right-leaning content does better because reality reasserts itself in the end. I hope you enjoyed that short segment from The Michael Knowles Show. Be sure to check out the full episode linked in the description or download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. 